Hello everyone, Old Guy Gaming here, and welcome to Warhammer 40k, Inquisitor Martyr. This is an action-based RPG, similar in the ilks of Diablo, based in the Warhammer 40k universe. And I've decided to sit down and do a playthrough of this game uh, with my friends online doing some co-op missions. Uh, a little bit of backstory, uh, we do a podcast, if you're interested, based on the X-Wing miniatures game called Lack of Focus. And my two co-hosts and I have gotten a little bored. Uh, COVID times have gotten a little bit rough. We all want to get games in, but x wings not really something you can do right now in stores in COVID times. So we decided we wanted to do something else. We had this big show last night uh, where we decided to talk about some games that maybe we can play online because we've all got some beefy computers and want to do some PC gaming instead for a little while. And we talked about a bunch of games and this is the game <laughs> that we decided to start with. And it's actually going to check a lot of boxes for me uh, in the fact that, uh, first of all, it's based in the Warhammer 40k universe. I'm a gigantic Warhammer nerd. You could tell from the giant Aquila behind me and all of the Warhammer 40k models that are all behind me. Um, so it's going to check that box. It's I love the action uh, role-playing game kind of genre, the the dungeon crawl beat em up kind of thing. I love that because it's you know it's mindless fun. Just sit down and like kill monsters and stuff. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm I'm not really sure how this game missed my radar to be honest with you. So we're going to do a playthrough of it. Uh, we're going to be streaming this um, not only on. The show's channel, which is, if you want to take a look at that, it's going to be Dice Hate Productions on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming it on my channel, by the way. I'm not streaming this one right now because I'm going to be playing the tutorial. Because uh, apparently before you're allowed to play uh, multiplayer, you have to go through the tutorial. And I was just going to play it just to get it out of the way so we can start playing uh, on Thursday. But I decided, why? Why not? Just record it. And let, let, let the fans kind of get an idea of my visceral response to <laughs> my live visceral response uh, to this game. But... It's going to hit, oh, ooh, look at that. Client Steam wants to do stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over. I'm going to have, this is legitimately my honest reaction to the game as I'm playing it. Now, I have no idea how long this tutorial is going to be. Ooh. Games Workshop. For 10,000 years, the Emperor's Inquisition have fought a secret war to defend humanity. We keep vigil in the darkness. We hunt among the shadows. We pass judgment upon the mutant, the traitor, and the heretic. We purge the world of the taint lurking among the stars. We are Inquisitors. We shall fear nothing. are what you fear. <laughs> Everything I would want a Warhammer 40k uh, game to feel like. So let's create a game we're going to call ourselves Old Guy Gaming. Very like Nine Inch Nails back on the Those first couple of minutes are too loud for you, I do apologize. I'm going to go down a little bit and see how that goes. Because I don't want the game to be overpowering, so let's... Yeah, let's drop that down... About there. Hopefully that's not too overpowering. It looks like it's still a little bit high, so let's... There we go. Let's go right about there. If it doesn't work, well, I'll, I'll, this is just the filming of the tutorial. And why is it still in? There we go. Weird that I want to, uh, to steam for that. Okay, so. Uh, create seasonal character. What do we got? I don't want to create this. I want to just want to play the game. Um, sure. So, I have options. I have the Crusader. Ooh. So, this is kind of my guy. So, this is kind of my jam whenever it comes to these kinds of games of, like... Uh, action role-playing games, it's I want to be the sword and board guy. So if I can be the sword and board guy with a thunder hammer and a power sword, that, that'll that work for me. Other options include an assassin. Uh, I wonder if that's like a ranger kind of class. Like those. You gotta figure in the Warhammer 40k universe it would be like all, every character can be ranged because this is a game where you've got like bolt guns. Um, psychers, yeah, I mean that, that could be fun. Um, oh, and then there's another tech adept. 
weird tentacle tech items. All right, so I'm just going to go with... I am just going to go with the Crusaders, and we are going to call this guy OGG. Focuses on heavy weapons. That's totally me. Totally me. Choose your expertise. Assault Crusader? Wait, what are my other... What are my options here? Hmm. Tactical Crusader... No, I like the Assault Crusader. I want to get in there. Sword and board. Melee combat. Power sword, great sword, suppression, suppression shield. It's not even a storm shield. What the heck? Assault armor, heavy weapon specialist. Only Crusader weapons can be a heavy melee weapons. I'm hoping that's going to be a thunder hammer. Uh, Crusader. Eh. Tactical Crusader. Do I want to just go all sword and board all the time? Last pistol and auto gun. Tactical Crusader expertise. Power sword and assault army. See, I like the idea of the sword and board. Shotgun and last can last gun. No, I think I'm gonna go with the assault crusader. And we are gonna create this character. So, level one. How do I let's just click play? I'm going to be quiet, by the way, over voiceovers. I want to make sure that people get the, the full experience of what it's like to play this game without me jabbering around across it. Those would be my dogs, who apparently somebody drove by the house. Inquisitor's log. Ooh. Classified report. Scheduled for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the inquisitorial distress signal I was assigned to investigate. The coordinates I received from the Caligari Conclave led me to a desolate system. There were many delays during the journey. The intensity of the Caligari warp surges is beyond anything I've experienced. Ooh. These anomalies are spreading through the subsector like a tidal wave. The distress signal has an ancient encryption used by the Holy Orders. It is authentic, but extremely old. The signal is coming from a battered fortress monastery that was likely spat from the warp when the tide of the surges swept through the sector. There is no response to our hailing signals. So, it's an inquisitorial ship that was lost in the warp. I'll explain some of that if you're not familiar- Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty holes. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. Yeah, I, it'd be difficult for me to sit down and explain all of 40k lore in a nutshell just while I'm doing this tutorial, but the long and short of it is... Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... Well, that's not very friendly. Yeah, it'd be really difficult to explain all of the Warhammer 40k lore in a nutshell as to what's that going on. What you need to know is there is this layer of existence over top of the material plane called the warp. Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Doesn't sound like it. Strange. Vox communication is jammed and I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log in case I don't return. Inquisitorial log, new entry. While attempting to darken the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. <laughs> he was just guardsman anyway. Can I, can I click any of these buttons? 
So this is all just left click, uh, click here to go there kind of thing. I do like the overlay map. I want to make sure I'm not missing any clues. Alright, looks like there's only one way to go. Hey, look at that. New tutorial. Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks. But having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. That's the Inquisition Open the door. door. Yeah, so that's how they punish uh, criminals in the 41st Millennium, by, by the way. Um, they're very anti-AI. Uh, so they found a way around that by basically using the human brain as, quote-unquote, artificial intelligence. Can I? I can't hold and right click to turn the camera view. Okay. So, long story short, if you're a criminal in the 41st millennium, you get convicted of a crime, they basically lobotomize you and turn you into a floating skull to do menial tasks like open doors, transport things. Like, you're. Hmm. An ancient cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. It might have information about this place. So tech prayers, everything is done by prayer because obviously they, uh, any type of computer skills are considered to be um, relics of the past. So liturgy, legitimately when you're trying to get a computer to do something, you do a prayer over a computer and follow over the, the motions and movements of it and hope that it works. That's how they teach uh, IT and tech. Uh, in the 41st millennium so it's legitimately like if you're it's not just it's not just computers like so for example if you have a gun and you're trying to repair a gun you do a ritual over a gun and you oil it with sacred oils and either it works or it doesn't work it, everything is done in, in ritual last maintenance logged warning uh Geller shield compromise Geller shields are what are used whenever they're transporting through the warp uh 47 percent uh Prayers of maintenance required for the following zones. Cataloging zones, cataloging failed. Uh, warning, corrupted data, diagnosis interrupted. Okay, so this didn't tell me, it tells me the name of the ship, which is the Martyr, which is also the title of the game. So that makes some sense. Just as I suspected, it's a pile of rust. At least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details. Cogitators are computers, by the way. New log entry. I found some human remains. We did? The time of day <laughs> seems recent. I don't like the look of the marks on the bodies. Something killed them with mindless brutality. So, in that immaterial plane between uh, our plane and that they use for transportation called the warp, uh, there are powers of chaos. Um, these are beings that live in the warp and can be brought into the material plane uh and they're insane to say the least power sword oh yes the perfect weapon to deliver the emperor's justice for the emperor so long story short um chaos represents the bad guys there aren't really a lot of good well and that would be a chaos Creature of chaos. Can you withstand my faith? You look very nurgling lice. Ooh, alright, so it's right click to attack? Yep. Looks like a right click to attack. Imperial ship infested by chaos. So be it. Let's cleanse the taint then. Great sword. Combat. Oh, this actually tells you how to do things. Okay. Uh, capabilities are mainly determined by your equipment and weapons. One-handed weapons capable with two skills. Um, left mouse or right class one, two, and keyboard. Okay, so I can actually switch between weapons. Got it. Weapon sets. I can tab between weapon sets. Can I zoom in? Sure. Okay, so this is me with the power sword. This is me with a great sword. Okay, so it's one-handed, but I don't get to use the shield. I see where we're going with that. And there are different abilities down here. Blade flare. Ooh. So that's left click and right click. Okay, I see what it is. So that's the left click button, that's the right click button, and then I can hit one and two to do. Oh, all right. Let's go deliver some Imperial Justice. Oh, you can get out of the way. Yeah. 
this would be what would be known as a Space Hulk. Uh, it's an old vessel that's been lost in the warp forever. Hey! New log entry. I have found a room tainted by the filth of chaos. There is also a tech priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. It could contain information on how I could turn off the box jammer. Oops. Open the defense systems. Uh, incident log. Conclusion after thought and thorough investigation, I, uh, I can safely claim that no personnel were involved in the incident. No defense turrets were open fire without any human involvement. The signal blocking. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Defense turrets. System malfunction. Okay, I don't know what that's telling me. I found new information. There is an emergency cogitator nearby where I could turn off the jamming signals. Yeah, but anyway, so uh, vessels uh, in the 41st millennium, like these types of vessels, are gigantic. They, they put uh, Imperial Star Destroyers from Star Wars to shame with the size of them. Uh, can I open the door? Why can I not open the door? Oh, I have to do that. Open the door. It is in the walls now. Everywhere. Taint. In the machines. By the Emperor. What foul abomination is this? A talking servitor. It might be mind locked, but this is still unusual. Uh, that looks like a lot of things that wanted to be killed. Oh, you want a piece of me? Well met, heretics. It is time for you to <laughs> die. You want a piece of me? Oh, you want to shoot stuff at me, huh? Ah, uh, come on, hit two. Knock some people down. There we go. Die! And you are effectively a spray on the ground. Whew! Wait, what was this? Space? Oh, that's just... What is that? Oh, do I have to open these? Oh, I have to hold the space button to hit. Interesting. New tutorial. What is it? Destructible objects. Oh, okay. So you have to hold the space bar if you want to destroy something. Got it. So, like, if I want to destroy this box, for example. Come on. Eh, uh, well, whatever. We'll get to that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, hitting it, I'm not doing enough damage. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Anything else around here? Nothing to pick up. About the Inquisitorial Seal. I found a wreck in the hangar. It is a vessel used by the Space Marines. What are they doing here? Oh, got it. Not air. Okay, so some of this stuff. Oh, I see. So not everything cracks open, but some stuff does. So, like, for example, I can come in here and crack away this, but if I go over to these barrels. Eh, that's weird. Any of these open up? No. Nothing. Maybe. Nothing? Okay. Alright. I feel like I'm wasting my time. What have we got here? Ooh. Finally. That's the cogitator that will disable the jammer. That's good. Let's disable that jammer. Maybe we can talk to our ship on the outside here. I couldn't turn off the teleportation jammer, but the Vox should be fine now. Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Inquisitor, finally. I thought we'd lost you. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. <laughs> Trust me, I'm on your side. I'm not saying I don't want my ship back, but who would clear my name if you died in battle? Your loyalty is quite admirable, Captain. Loading screen. Hoo-hoo! Unlike chain swords. So is that the is that the whole campaign mission that's campaign? Is that the whole tutorial? 
Why click that player? I don't know. I mean, that very well could have been the whole thing right there. I don't know. Uh, let's click this mission and see what happens. Found evidence of chaos, serious infestation. Need to investigate further. I hope I'm not, like, overplaying something that I need to be... Our augers have picked up a Vox signal not far from your location. It is transmitting on an Imperial channel. It could be important. I'm on my way there. Yeah. Map overlay and minimap. Yeah, I'm getting what that is. Elites, villain, bosses, shrines. Okay, so I'm still in the tutorial. They've just broken it down into a couple of different places. The focus resource? All character classes in the game have a special resource that is used to activate abilities. Crusaders have a focus uh, resource which requires their armor skill. Uh, focus is slowly regained over time. Okay, got it. I assume that's what this is. Oh, an assault jump. For the Emperor. That, that was intelligent. Die! I feel like I lost uh, credits. We don't need no stinking credits. Anything in these boxes? Like, I'm sort of expecting, like, stuff to be inside this destructible boxes kind of thing. Am I not hitting it? How am I not hitting it? Oh, well. Oh, there we go. What, am I just that low and I'm that bad I can't hit a box sitting next to me? Alright, weird. That's something I'm going to have to try to figure out. Anything in these things? No? Can I blow you up? Yeah. Sure can. Okay, so it looks like everything interesting we have found. Find the source of the Vox transmission. I'm gonna guess it's not something good. I got things on my radar. By the Emperor. What have you found down there, Inquisitor? Some unlucky members of an Imperial retinue. This is a shrine dedicated to the ruinous powers. Nurgle. Somebody really wants his dark wishes to be fulfilled. In other words, there's something on that ship that requires human sacrifice. Wonderful. Kill him! Yeah, the flamethrower guy can die first. I don't even see a health bar. Do I have a health bar? I have to, right? Power sword. I assume that this is my health bar? Yeah. Yeah, I assume that this is quote unquote my health. Yeah, there we go. So health recharges. Like, it's not a question of like doing like potions or something like that. Health just recharges over time, like any other. Okay, can I pick up guns? What else do we got in here? I feel like if I had a gun, I would be doing more damage, but alas. Mm -mm -mm. So there are four gods of chaos, um, each for have their own little quirks, shall we say. Uh, this appears to be the god Nurgle, which is pestilence and disease. Kill him! Is that right? You've not met many Inquisitors, have you, my friend? Like, they literally live for this. Can I blow up? Oh. Hey, you're bringing a gun to a knife right here. I keep expecting something to be in these boxes. Cogitator. Did 
Personal note, the machine spirit, that's the rudimentary AI that runs the ship, is suddenly becoming insane and started, started to override the defense systems, destroying some possible harmless uh, void crash trying to land it on the deck. We must act before it sheds blood, more blood. I don't need to remind you of the faithful consequences of such information becomes open at knowledge. Uh, it all it remains confidential. I submit this uh, invocation in the name of the Al Messiah, that's the machine god, uh, uh, to the wisdom and the trusted hair fan. Uh, yeah, if I, I, I'm going to try to do my best to explain as much as possible for. Ooh, frag grenades! Can I please have grenades? Can I pick yes, those names? A grenade. Yes. Enemies. How do I throw grenades? Da -da -da. Oh, okay, so it's going to become a number on my button. Perfect. The Emperor, I'll blast you to smithereens. Hells yeah. Frag grenades being short for fragmentation, which means that they explode and do all kinds of fun things. A proper welcome committee at last. That grenade could be useful now. Darn right it could. Throw the grenade! <laughs> Were the enemy at last. Was he? What is what is that? Press F to re uh renegade uh stationary press F to interact. Oh. Wow, that's fun. Okay, so that uh, that's interesting. Anything over here? Is this a ladder elevator? What is this? It looks like it's supposed to be some type of elevator. Uh, which way am I supposed to go? I feel like... Oh, so that's talking about... Alright, so the little thing on my map is talking about... Uh, can loot anything in here? Ugh. Yeah. Again, I don't understand, like, the little thing, every time I see space, I'm like, oh, should I be swinging it there? Is there, like, destructible boxes? Is... And there are, but I'm not seeing anything in them. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, oh. I'm sure I just stepped over some type of shrine. Uh, I, hope you're, I hope you're reading this. Uh, that's the safest way for us to communicate. If they find out uh, what we are planning, they'll execute us. Hide your message in the maintenance sermons and make them look like they're simple uh, devotorial notes. Um, we need to plan our next step. There are huge problems on this uh, uh, on research decks. The Red Sanctum has been quarantined. Uh, I received your message by the Emperor. This is bad. Same down here. Nobody knows where the, where the martyr is heading. With the other hold in the Sanctum has seconds to charge plotting against them. I have no idea who to turn. This should be interesting. So it looks like there was some type of, I don't know if mutiny. So chaos has a tendency to turn people in its uh, general direction. Um, so when someone turns to chaos, they tend to betray their friends and allies and try to recruit others to do the same. So it sounds like that, that while trapped in the warp, What was that? What was that? So I'll jump. Corpse? I found a corpse of an Imperial soldier. I'll take his data slate. It could contain a recording that could shed some light on what happened here. That's a hell brute. That is going to be bad ass to fight. Somehow fighting it hand to hand feels like that might be a bad idea. So we've got ourselves a chaos infestation on an Inquisition ship, no less. Like the Inquisition, Inquisition is supposed to be like the purest of the pure. Uh, all right, let's go in and take these guys over here. Maybe we can get in there without attracting attention. No, 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 take that. All right, flamer guys. Whoa. 
die. Purity zeal. Stuns enemies near my chests. Uh, missions usually contain chests and other storage. Okay, so that's what I was gonna say. Like I've been looking forward to like all kinds of items. Medical supplies. Inoculation refills. It's probably healthy. I found the body of a fallen Adeptus Astartes. Holy crap, is he big. What? Did you just say that there was a dead space marine down there? That's what I'm looking at. He must have been a member of that unlucky Imperial Reconnaissance team I found. Allow me to clarify that. You only found pieces of them. So it'll be just you against something that tore apart one of the mightiest champions of the Imperium. Don't jump to conclusions just yet, Captain. It could easily be more than one creature. He's... I'm, I hope I get to see standing Astartes. Because uh, uh, Adeptus Astartes are augmented humans. Uh, they're about seven and a half feet tall and they're killing machines. Uh, they are the best that the Imperial has. They are they augmented by all of these internal organs that make them faster, stronger. Woo! Ah, uh, let's go this way. Come at me, creatures. Come at me, bro. Probably should throw the grenade the other direction. Never going, you say. I don't know. This this soundtrack is jamming. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Holy cow! Like when you start getting into combat and like the metal music starts going. Oh my god! Did they do a good job? Oh, I can just hold down. I've been here left clicking this whole time doing this, but you can actually just hold down uh, left click to be able to move. That's actually fun. What is this? Recharge utility. And okay. More dead people. Team Sigma. This is Chaos Thorn speaking. Team Sigma, come in. I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you? And what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks? Maybe. By the Emperor! Mind your manners. I am an Inquisitor, and I don't tolerate... An Inquisitor? About bloody time. I thought your lot had followed Lord Klosterheim into the Dark Zone. Listen. We're under heavy attack in the control room, so I'd appreciate it if you could join us while we deliver the Emperor's will until our most triumphant death, thawed out. <laughs> yeah, that's the mentality of a space marine. New log entry. I established connection with someone from an Imperial expedition on the ship, but he is clearly confusing me with someone else. That's a Titan. Please tell me I don't have to fight a Titan on this ship. Forbidden Cult. All right, so we're kind of at the 30 minute mark. Uh, this tutorial is taking a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. I genuinely thought it was gonna be like a 10 or 15 minute tutorial. Uh, so I'm gonna cut the video here. I'm gonna keep on continuing play and probably have like two videos out of this. I wasn't expecting to go through um, So I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe while you're there. It's always super helpful. Let me know if you've played this game, if it is as good as I'm uh, hoping it is. I'm 30 minutes in and I'm already loving it. Um, we'll see, I mean, how much further it goes. I mean, it's I'm getting out of the tutorial tutorial getting into actual play should be a, a real telltale sign but so far like visually it looks cool uh, the sound effects are good the music's good um so and, yeah let me know in the comments down below what you thought on this one and so until next video guys thank you so much we shall see you in the next one this video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons if you would like to help out the channel go to www.patreon.com slash old guy gaming mtga and thank you for your support.